What's up everybody, I'm Xanda Pandre and welcome to Xanda Pandre. Now, on today's episode, we're going to be looking at my DNA results. So let's just get a flashback to last time what I said. I'm, my guesses are actually that I'm around 90% British and around 2% African, maybe 10% somewhere else in Europe, maybe somewhere like maybe native uh, Aboriginal Australian. Maybe somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so right now we're actually gonna find out. I have my computer right over there and we're just gonna see my DNA results. So this is kind of scary. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at this. That's so cool. Ireland and Scotland, 34%. Europe West? Europe West? Okay. Okay. Great Britain. I, th you know, in my, if you actually have a look at my previous DNA video, I thought that I was 90% British. 90% British. Turns out I'm actually 34% Scottish, Irish, and Welsh, which comes from obviously both of my parents' side because my last name is Clifford Pugh, which is a British welsh last name because pew comes from the welsh way of saying son of hugh which is pew and then clifford actually comes from oh pardon me the clifford actually comes from the british way of saying a ford below a cliff but a ford is actually a river under a cliff so I'm, it's like a double kind of thing so yeah europe west which is let's, let's give it a let's give it a quick geese on europe west So what are we looking at here? We're looking at primarily Belgium, France, France, okay, Germany, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxem Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. These places? Oh my god. Jeez. Europe West. Ireland. So primarily Ireland. Ireland and Scotland. Wales. That's really interesting. And then we got Great Britain, obviously, which I thought would be a lot higher. Personally, I thought it would be way higher. And then Scandinavia. Scandinavia. So we're looking at Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. That is such a strange thing. You would not be able to tell that by just looking at me. And then we got a couple of low confidence regions. So we got Europe South, around 5%, which is, let's give it a quick, quick geese on that one. Let me just get a screenshot on that. Um, yeah, so Europe South. Greece and Italy, so I'm around, I'm around 5% like Greece and Italian. <laughs> Iberian, 3%. So that's like Spain and all that. Let's, let's just give it a look, at, look at that. Spain and Portugal. A very small percentage of Spain and Portuguese. And Northern, Northern Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Finland... Northwest Russia. Okay, so I'm I actually am part Russian, a very small amount Russian, but not none of the middle two percent Jewish <laughs> Oh that's funny as yo so I'm two percent Jewish East a very small percent Europe East but that includes countries like Poland, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, Austria, Russia, Hungary, Slovenia, Romania, Serbia, Ukraine, Belarus, Moldova, Lithuania, Latvia, Bosnia, and Caucasus. I don't know what the Caucasus regions are. Oh, okay. So that's like the Middle East. Let's just... So that's like Armenia, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan? Cool. Georgia, Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey. 
but that's only like how much is that zip like less than one percent thanks everybody for watching this video make sure to comment like and subscribe and you know just tell me how much it shocked you or how much did you already like know and have you done a dna test down below do you have a video on that please tell me because i want to see more peoples because you know it's, it's really interesting to see all this kind of stuff and uh thanks for watching oh, oh.